is a three-peat all but guaranteed is a three-peat all but guaranteed for the Las Vegas Aces. But my the Las Vegas Aces, your Las Vegas Aces, to all Las Vegas Aces fans, first of all, what you doing? If you haven't, like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below. So, Aces fans, we haven't talked Aces in a little bit, probably about a week and a half, maybe even two weeks. But um, let's talk some Aces. So, is a repeat guarantee? I am of the mindset that, in my most humble opinions of all, that I think a, a, a I think a three peat is something that's going to go down next season. Um, I truly believe it is, and we were able to two peat without the services of Chelsea Gray and Kia Stokes, has, who has become very valuable for this team. Believe it or not, um, with her defensive abilities, I I just don't see a reason why we wouldn't. Um, the only potential snafu roadblock might be if New York plays with this extra chip, this extra edge on their shoulder. Um, you know, if the Liberty come out extra focused, well, there's a possibility with, you know, Sabrina Ionescu having tasted loss, John Quill Jones, again, having tasted loss, you know, um, what's, what's the Ford's name, but Laney having tasted loss again. Um, and then just the whole team and just the organization, um, what if they just have this extra motivation, this extra chip on their shoulder, which I think would make for even tighter, more competitive WNBA finals. But I don't think we're going to be denied um, being stopped next season. Um, as long as we can get back a totally healthy squad, as long as everybody is coming back, you know, healthy and ready to go and raring to go. Um, you got Asia Wilson not going anywhere. Kelsey Plum not going anywhere. And then you got Jackie Young and Chelsea Gray as well. So what we all know fabulously and uh, famously as the core four, they aren't going anywhere. So this makes us the favorites continuously. Um, and like I said, there's a great chance that New York, you know, they could be extremely motivated. And I just think that it would go to five games, but I still feel like we would win. Um I just think, you know, we a team of destiny. We the greatest show on earth right now as it pertains to basketball. And, you know, we have determined players, talented players, and we always seem to fill out our roster the right way. Um, we got to see Sydney Coles and strut her stuff in a game for a closeout win. Um, we got to see the metal that in the fabric that Kayla George is made of, missing shots, making shots, finding ways to contribute. Um, we just got a team full of players, and I fully believe in, in, in um, uh, Mark Davis and, and Becky Hammond and, you know, the, the brass, the top brass, the, the coaching staff and the organization, you know, top members. It's just continue to make moves um, and just continue to put the best product on the floor. And if Candace Parker comes back, that he, that sweetens, sweetens the pot even more. So um, I know it's going to be other – other contenders, um, like I said, the Connecticut Sun are always there. Um, Brianna Thomas is going to return for them next season. Um, you would think so, you know, um, as long as there's no setbacks from her injuries, um, you would think that she would come back. Um, and if they're able to resign uh, Dewana Bonner and Alyssa Thomas as a package deal, you know, the Connecticut Sun are always right there. You know, they got well-rounded players. Uh, veterans on a team, you know, Rebecca Allen. So they always, you know, in the mix for trying to do something special over there. And then you got Dallas who played us pretty well. The Dallas Wings, um, Satu Sabali, Natasha Howard, um, of course, Enrique Ogumawale. Um, you know, they fought hard. They they definitely fought against us. Um, but ultimately, I still think it's our time. Um, and it's our time to continue to sign. And I I just don't really see you know, like I said, with the maybe the, the rare exception of the Liberty, I just don't see anybody stepping in and being able to, you know, even really compete with this thing that we have. And, you know, I, I know that we, we kind of ran roughshod a couple of times um, over them last season. I mean, over them in the WNBA finals. But um, what I think you'll see this time around is that, um, you know, they'll have more fight if both teams run into each other again. 
um, and they meet each other in the WNBA Finals. You, you'll see more of a fight um, this time coming around from them. But ultimately, um, even though it will be more of a challenge, I still got us taking it. So what do you guys think? What do y'all feel? Um, I think a three-peat is guaranteed, in my opinion. What say you all? Um, I don't see a reason. I don't see a team that's going to be able to hang um, ultimately, you know, like I say, when you get it done without two starters, you know, and then the previous year you get it done with De'Arica Hamby, and then you see all of the things that we had to go through. Becky Hammond suspended at the start of the season. Um, you know, the, the drama, the, the all of the, the angles and situations that came from the Hamby fallout. Um, Candace Parker gets hurt, you know, Knickknacks here and there, the Raquana Williams domestic violence incident. Uh, some people screaming all season long, we ain't have a bench. And, you know, I even was one of the people that got worried, you know, seeing players get signed at the bottom end of the bench and get cut. You know, Ashley Jones, you know, just seeing players just come and go, come and go. Um, but ultimately, the core four just took care of business. That's what it came down to. And I don't think it's going to stop. I think it's going to continue. So, yeah, three-peat loading. Sounds cocky. Sounds like a person who truly believes in this team, because I do. So I would be appalled and shocked if we didn't bring it home for three. That's all I got for this video, though. This is RC, and I'm out.